Hey, I hope you're enjoying your day, afternoon, or evening. Thanks for watching. He had a choice to choose other people, and he choose, chose to watch me. A big thank you. Well, okay. There? How about this? That works too. <laughs> so, I recently watched the movie W. It is about George W. Bush. Now, politics aside, I wasn't old enough to vote yet. So I'm not going to go beyond that. I'm going to put it to that point. I was not old enough to vote and leave it there. However, the movie itself was documentary. It was very good. I love love the cast and I love the set set dressing it's very authentic the cast looks 100% authentic and it's amazing the gentleman playing Mr. Bush is John Brolin Noah Wiley is also in this movie, the dude from ER. Also in this movie, Colin Hanks, Toby Jones, Jeffrey Wright. Now, Jeffrey Wright did great Colin Powell, number one. And I don't think they could have got a better cast, honestly. They were as authentic as you can be. And I was shocked because to me the most important part of this type of movie is the cast, number one. But the way they shot it, if there was an angle that was far away, these actors and actresses definitely looked their part. Spot on. I didn't know if it's spot statics. I didn't know if it was the hair. I didn't know if it was the outfits. But one example that I'm going to put right now is the lady who did Condoleezza Rice. And her name is. I'm unfortunately going to unfortunately mess this up. Uh, C. C. Dye? Dye? Uh, Newton. She was phenomenal in the kind of laser rights role just from the look that they went for. Even the gentleman doing Colin Powell going back to Jeffrey Wright, every, I, I, I can't get over how authentic these people look. And that to me in a documentary so movie is not only very important, but it definitely keeps authenticity more uh, realism as a mouthful. <laughs> it gives, it, I'm just floored by how authentic this movie is in that the looks of the cast really brought out who they were portraying. Now, the White House was really good. I didn't show too much of it. I like the White House. You really can't mess up the right house. I think they went to Camp David in a scene or two. But other than that, everything was great. And the set it was dressed very nicely. This particular documentary, actually getting into the documentary now, is about George W. Bush. And I believe his relationship with his family and father. The story itself was very great. Again, not being able to vote for presidency and understanding what I know now versus what I knew then about not only presidency, what was going on in the world and all that stuff. The gentleman who played George W. Josh Brolin again did a phenomenal job. 
this particular movie deals with George W. Bush's life from his time in office in the governor's mansion in Texas, and of course, presidency. It did not touch on 9-11, which is okay, you know, that's, you know, that's fine in this type of documentary, it's not about 9-11, there's other documentary movies about it. Though they skipped over that, they didn't do the recount, did not do that. So, they mostly dealt with the war in the Middle East, and the lost election for the next, oh yeah, that would be Obama. Sorry, I just realized that. So, it went from his time in office, time in the governor's office in Texas, and then presidency. Uh, before that, what did he do before that? Went to college. Actually, he went to a Northeastern college, which I can't remember, according to the movie. But I liked the movie. It really portrayed George W. Bush in a light that really resembled him and his family and the nuance around being a Bush. Now, is that good or bad? Who's to say? I mean, that's for you all in the comments to discuss and let me know. And as well, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. Thank you. That's all I have, actually. I was going to go on, but I feel like I'd be repeating myself. If you get a chance to check out the movie, it is actually called A W. It's actually on YouTube. Yeah, it's free with that. What, if you saw the movie, what did you think? If you haven't saw the movie, are you going to be watching it? If you have seen the movie, do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you like? What do you not like? I'm Dave. Thank you for sticking with me, sticking around. I hope you enjoy your day, afternoon, and evening. Wherever you are, on the lovely third rock on the sun, the planet, Earth. Keeps off panic. Yeah.